Hi, in this video, we are going to have a look at the Hong Kong Mandel interferometer or HOM for short. It's an interferometer used to measure the difference between one photon source and another photon source. In this case, signal photon and idle photon. We have two input ports, one for signal photons and one for idle photons. And assuming signal and idle photons, they are exactly the same, and we want to measure their two photon interference pattern. So we have to introduce something to make them different. And here we choose optical path. You can see here, one of the input arm is motorized and can be scanned along this direction. So which introduces variable optical path difference between signal and idle photons. These photons, they are coupled to the interferometer by the fiber, fiber coupler here, this is then to a 50-50 beam splitter. And this is the key. Remember, we have four possibilities here. Signal and idle photon come out at the same output port here or here, or signal photon here, either photon here, or the other way. To have destructive interference between these two, we need the beam splitter to be exactly 50-50. Connect the output ports to the controller and switch to the HOM control panel. This is the current position, and in the beginning, it is always zero. And this is the position we want to go. To scan the interferometer first, we need to know where to go. You can see there are two white lines here, and they are not in the same position, so which means we have to move the stage to the right. And back to our control panel, we set the target position, use larger step size because we are still looking for the position right now. And now we are pretty close. We can use finer step size and scan a small window to see the clear interference pattern. For the ideal case, signal and either photons, they are they should be exactly the same and we should be able to see a perfect dip with 100% visibility, but here you only see a visibility around 50 or 60% because this is not an ideal case. Because here we have a free space coupling regime and the fiber couplers actually determine which spatial and spectral mode we are collecting. If these modes they are not exactly the same, then we will have a degraded visibility. So this is already the end of the experiment and thank you for watching.